community feedback. Hey Ben, I found a comment on our community feedback that requires community feedback. Do you want to answer the question? I can give feedback. Cool. All right, he says, love the show and really enjoy the EE advice, electrical engineering, but is this an okay way to add a display? Only if you want a portable Raspberry and PC? Oh, so he's talking about where we, t where we say you can use the TTL pins to drive a display directly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what he's asking is, if you're using up all the pins for the screen and you don't have the GPIO, can you still call it a Raspberry Pi? Mm. Well, I'm, I still think it's a Raspberry yeah, Pi. And you still have USB ports and an Ethernet port if it's one of the bigger Raspberry Pis. So. Is there any way to go from the SDI header to LVDS? Okay, so LVDS is low voltage differential signaling or other display types found in old laptops or tablets. That's what I'd really love to see. Uh, yes, there is a way to do that. We've actually done some experimenting with that, not necessarily on the show, but what you do is you take the RGB TTL level signals coming off of the pins when you're in RGB mode, or uh, I think they call it a DPI mode in the config file. Anyway, you take those TTL signals and you can attach them to a certain converter chip that you get from Texas Instruments, mm -hmm. and it takes the TTL and turns it into four channel LVDS, and then you can pipe that into you know your standard LCD screen. Cool. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty easy to do. It's like a $2.50 chip. I think it's like a TSOP 20, so it's not even that ridiculously small. You could probably get a breakout board for it. Hmm. Um, if you're thinking about like a mass market product, like an HDMI converter board is actually fairly expensive. So if there's any low level way to get the data or the video, I should say, off of the Raspberry Pi, you should go for it. Hmm. It does eat up pretty much all the I.O. Uh, we're doing a project right now where we save like the last eight I.O. by only using 16-bit color. And that's not too bad. Of course, if you have the compute module, you have like 20 extra I.O. that you don't have on a normal Raspberry Pi. So yeah, um, you can get a TTL to LVDS converter chip that will allow you to go from the Raspberry Pi to the chip and then directly to a piece of LCD glass like you might find in a laptop screen. Well, thank you very much for your question, Charles. Keep those questions coming on the Element 14 community.